What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the Iron Man suit up gantry prototype by XM Studios here. Now I did a live unboxing a couple of days ago if you wanna go check that out. But other than that, I'm gonna try to keep this video short and simple and you can see it all in 4K. All right, let's get it. Let's start off with this torso stand. It's missing the core right here, but it's going to be shown at Wonderfest next week. Um, pretty much, it's almost the same design as the base itself with the wiring and everything. It has a pretty good weight to it. And also, they just added these. These will go the Iron Man suit where the waist is, so that's come with it. Then we have this top base, which is a pretty clean look. I mean, there's really nothing to it, but I don't know how it actually is supposed to be placed because there's no peg for the body to go into. But uh, yeah, it's the same design as the other one, except the top just has nothing. And also these mechanical parts, it's numbered, but I can't figure out how to put it in. It doesn't fit correctly for some reason. But anyways, we will definitely see this at the Wonderfest as well. Let's check out the mechanical stuff that goes on to that arm. This is like a little grip, like in case if you want to show off the full Iron Man suit and he doesn't have anything else to put on. So you put these on and also these magnetic pieces. All right. And then here you have the chest plate. A lot of nice intricate details inside as well. Looks very cool. And then we have here the Iron Man mask, very nice. This should go on the front. And this is the back. Very nice details again. And this is probably my favorite, the gauntlet. Nice, you can see all the details inside here, the mechanical arms and even the back of this. This is my favorite. Let's take a look at the sub base. So you see there's not much going on here, just a lot of vents like grill and caution tape all around. Not really much going on in it. And you have this pillar, the big, really big one to put on this massive and pretty heavy layer of base right here. You can actually spin this parts around to wherever you want, basically. So I think this is the Silver Centurion. Uh, I'm not sure the blue one, what could it be? Maybe it's the Mark one. I'm not sure, but I really do like the color of these, especially that, man. Kind of silver, light blue metallic, looking really nice. And these do have a light up function, which is right up here on top of the base. You use three AAA batteries, which I changed up since last time. It should be brighter now. So when you turn the light on, I mean, it's not really that bright to begin with, but I think it is good enough. Especially at night, it actually glows a little bit more. So this is cool. And this part does not light up. It holds the suit that he is wearing at the moment. So that's what it is basically. All right, but this is a pretty cool base. And then the top of the base, you got this, which has a lot of wiring going on. This is where Iron Man's gonna be standing on top. And it does have a light up function as well. Same, three AAA battery inside. And here, I'll turn around and show it to you. Turn the lights on. This one actually is brighter than before from the live unboxing. This one, when I change the battery, it does look better. Now let's put it on to the sub base. Here we go. For the prototype, it's a little bit wobbly up top, but not much to it. But uh, also this piece, this is to cover where the mechanical arm goes. It is magnetized. So if you're not gonna use it, then you can use this to cover up the hole. Now let's take a look at the Iron Man itself. I think the suit has a very nice candy red color. The gold is pretty shiny as well. A lot of intriguing details all over. I really do like the design. This is based off of the Model 25 with XM Touch. So let's put it onto the base. Let's 
go wiggle it a bit to get it in, push it all the way down. And you can see the light reflection from the base, making it look really nice. Very cool. Let's get to the torso again. Same nice paint job on it. A lot of details, especially the back, really like this. And it also has a lighter function for the chest and the head. Go ahead and turn it on. Right here, it looks pretty bright, but when you put the helmet on, it's gonna tone down a bit, I'll show you. Here, push it down and the head scope, place it in. You can kind of tell that it's toned down a lot. I actually would like it to be a little bit brighter than this. Same goes with the arc reactor right here. To the arms, this is very nice as well. Really do like it. I love the design, man. Like, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I love how XM just put their own original design into these comics. I don't care for the comics accurate materials. I just like the arts, especially when it's original. All right, look at that. That's a very detailed suit, man. Really love it. Even the helmet, I forgot to mention. I mean, that's a lot of nice details all around as well. Let's take a look at the Tony Stark one. This is very cool. Love the garment underneath. And I just love how the armor looks when it's about to form onto his body. That's really cool. The back looking very nice. Just so many good things about this. All right, let's put it on. Again, put it down. Being the prototype, it's not perfect by any means. Also, one more thing that I just found out, the arc reactor on this one, it does actually lights up. How they design it is, is you can actually take it out. There's a battery housing behind here, but this one, it doesn't light up for some reason, so they're gonna be fixing it for Wonderfest. But I think that is a cool idea right here. Okay, and the regular arm. This one, it has a nice patterns on his bodysuit or whatever, and the details on the paint, you can see the vein inside, everything. Very nice. Put this on. And I think the best one is this. His left arm, while the armor just about to form, you can see all the delicate parts inside. Really do love the metallic look against the candy red, making, making it pops. There we go. Look at that. Looks so good. Actually, when you look at it real close, see the metal parts right here on the arm doesn't really match with the one on his chest. Maybe they could have, yeah. They, hopefully, they will fix this just to make it look like it. That would be good. Okay, and the head scope. This to me, I know is comics version, but this to me does look kind of like Tom Cruise with anime touch. I really do like it though. With the hair, the squinty eyes. Yeah, man. I see Tom Cruise. I don't know, you guys tell me. All right, now let's put the mechanical arms in, but first let's take a look at it. Very nice details, the wiring, everything is all sculpted here. The bolts are real, this actually moves. All the parts here, but being the prototype, uh, it might need some little bit of work. Now let's try pushing one in. And it's numbered basically. This one is number one. So some of them are not perfect. So this one is pretty much for the chest plate. Let's check out the other ones. All right. Okay, this is number four. Basically the same details on it. This one is a little bit loose. 
So if I put too much weight on it, it's just gonna fall down. I don't have the, uh, the bolt that I can tighten it, so we're just gonna do it for now. Usually, it makes more sense if you ply it out like this, you know? So it doesn't clamp onto Iron Man too much, but you can display it however you like. Okay. And this one, this is number three. We'll go to the back. Okay, here we go. Got it in. Same thing, this one is not that tight. Just turn it around to show you. But you can maneuver it really. Like the production is going to be so much better. Now last but not least, this one came with the screen. It does not light up, which unfortunate. I wish, I just wish it would light up basically. You know, that would make it look so much better, but it is acrylic. Since they already have the wiring on the base, they could do something if they really wanted to, I, th I think. Okay. Now this one, push the screen back a bit first. Press, place it down. Then you move the screen closer to make it look like he's touching it. And I can't really ply it out any further or it might fall. So this is what we're gonna work with. Now, let's put all, all of the parts here. This is the mask. By the way, you can put it any which one you like, but I think this makes more sense. The hand. Go in the back, I guess. Here we go. Move up a bit. And front this is going to be the chest plate okay just gonna move it closer to him like this like it's about to put it on last Okay, the back plate, same thing. Just gonna push it a little further in to the body. But I think when I get it, this is not how I am going to do it, definitely. I'm gonna give it some more space. It's also cool that you have an option for it. There we go. So this is the full suit up gantry look. Now we change it up to the full Iron Man suit just standing in the gantry and I switch out these mechanical arms so there would be nothing on it. This is a pretty cool look if you like this. Now the version A actually just come with the full suit with the base without these gantry basically. All right, but I think version B is probably better. You get everything that you need. I see a lot of collectors actually don't really care for this sub base but I do like it you know it actually gives you an option to be up higher as well because I am planning to uh, display this guy right between my war, war tank and war machine so he's gonna need some height that's gonna actually make him look a little bit better so really it's really up to you if you like him to be low or be high but you can post it so many different way with this and don't forget the mechanical arms, you can actually make it a little bit wider if you like, okay? So I think this is a very nice design, awesome concept, and I've been waiting for this, some kind of a gantry like this to come out for a long time. Also, I see a lot of people complaining about the AC adapter, how its statue should be. Uh, I agree with XM that it should be separate because if something goes wrong, you can get it fixed easier. But for this particular statue, I think I agree with them because it's such a pain in the ass to turn the lights on and off. You have to take off the whole top of the base here. 
just to turn it on and off doesn't make any sense. So I hope they make some type of like a hidden button somewhere onto the base or along the side of this panel. That would be so much better. Let's get to the measurement. I'll start with the base. It is about 15 inches long or about 38 centimeter. And to the top of the top of the base, that is about 11 and a half inches or about 29 centimeter. And the height to the top of Iron Man head is about 31 inches or about 79 centimeter. So doesn't take up so much room and the depth and everything, it just depends on how you display this mechanical arm, all right? That's it for the in-depth look at this Iron Man suit up gantry prototype. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? Do you think there's an improvement or if the price is fair? I mean, the pre-order price is at $2,100 and being the exclusive from XM, it is going to be expensive, but with all the intricate details, the concept that goes into this, I think this is a pretty fair price. I pre-ordered mine day one because, you know, I've been looking for this type of statue for a long time. So I'm glad that they came out with it. But thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you guys think as always. Take care, man. Peace.